An emotional Josh Burns has called for an end to anti-Semitic attacks on MP officers after his was heavily vandalised, which caused residents living above the St Kilda premises to evacuate. The Prime Minister has reached out to the Jewish MP and Federal Police are helping Victorian detectives track down those responsible. Carrying jerry cans of kerosene, six hooded offenders smashed windows, sprayed anti-Semitic slogans and set fires at the office of Federal MP Josh Burns. He's labelled it an act of political warfare. This is a dangerous escalation of people trying to bring a conflict on the other side of the world to our streets and it needs to end. The fires knocked out communication lines to neighbouring businesses and one set off smoke alarms which woke up residents living upstairs. Families, kids, kids, kids living I really there. hope they don't know like, that they're doing it like, with the intention of like, hurting people. It's becoming them and us type thing. I don't want Australia to be like that. I mean, what's Josh Burns done to deserve this or any other person that's Jewish in Australia? No amount of aggression and violence here in Australia is going to change what's happening in the Middle East. I'm desperate for there to be a ceasefire. This year, the offices of Bill Shorten, Mark Dreyfus and the Victorian Premier have also been vandalised. The Prime Minister called Josh Burns this morning to offer his support. He says this is an escalation in anti-Semitic vandalism on MP officers and must be called out as a targeted attack on a Jewish Member of Parliament. And how people think that they advance their cause through activities like this is beyond me. It does nothing, it undermines uh, the cause. The Jewish community fears the latest act of vandalism shows anti-Semitism is reaching boiling point. There's so many of our friends that say you have to get a passport, you have to be able to have a way of escaping because this is 1930. We don't need to wait for somebody to be killed to take this growing threat seriously. Federal police are working with Victorian detectives to identify those behind the attack. Abby Dinham for 10 News First.